Did you know that most Singer electronic machines come with a mending stitch? Now, if you don't have this exact model, you can follow this video to learn how to use the built-in mending stitch. Now, we're doing it on the Singer Elite CE677, and it is gonna actually ask us to pull out a buttonhole foot. Now, I know this is not a buttonhole, and, and you do need to pull out a button just for visualizing this the first time, but let's take a look first of what a mending stitch looks like. Down at the bottom where we can pull out the little cheat sheet of stitches, we see that in menu two, this is the mending stitch. So it goes up and down, back and forth at every single needle position. So if you had a rip in your fabric, you can put interfacing underneath it or another piece of fabric. You have to put something, you can't just stitch it without anything and it is a gaping hole with stitches. Put something underneath it and then you can control how long you want this based on how big the opening is. You can also do it more than one time. So you can stitch and then if your opening is bigger that you're trying to mend, you can do it again and again and again. So let's go ahead and find, we see that it is in menu two and it is stitch 19. Touch the M button to go to menu two and touch one nine to bring up stitch 19. Now the reason I knew to bring out my buttonhole foot is because I'd already peeked and it said foot D. This is foot D. Now, why are we using this? Well, first off, you can determine how long a buttonhole is by moving this piece kind of away from you. You'll hear some little click clicks. Sometimes it's a little uh, stubborn when it's brand new, but all in all, just give it a little push. And when we do buttonholes, we put a button in the back of this foot, and then there is a lever we're gonna bring down and it moves between these two little arms sticking out. So that matches the button. So if I want a mending stitch, whatever spacing is given back here, that's how long it's going to be. I'm also gonna show you how to do this without a buttonhole foot, and you can actually get a little longer stitch. So you don't have to have a button back here, your machine will not know if you do or not, but if you just leave a space, or maybe you want a littler space, which is what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna just open it up a little bit, you can see the distance here. That's how big it's going to stitch, back and forth, back and forth. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this foot on the machine. So touch the button in the back, drop off the other toe, and then lower this in place. This kind of shows you what we're going to get, and it is gonna be slightly angled. Now, a question people always ask me is like, what do I do with this thread before I sew? Here's my trick. I just hold on to it while I take the first couple of stitches. And after you do this once and you pull your fabric out, it'll drag this thread down through that opening. But if you wanted to, you can try to get that thread to go down through the foot and then feed it out. But all in all, I don't take that time. The last thing you need to do is behind your needle threader, so not the needle threader, but back behind it, look up in this area, there's a little paddle that you're gonna bring straight down. That's the part that's going to trigger how long, in between those two little arms sticking out, uh, how long to do this mending stitch. Now it is gonna start here and it's gonna travel away from you. So always do a test just so you know like, oh yeah, that's right, it's gonna sew kind of backwards first. So I'm holding the thread, stepping on the foot control, and as soon as this little paddle reaches the back part, it will tell the machine that that's as far as it needs to go. So what you're seeing is again, the needle going at each of the needle positions. Now, if you don't wanna hold that thread, at this point, I usually just take my scissors, trim it close, and then keep stitching. It's doing every single needle position from the left side of the foot to the right side. So you can only go as wide as the foot will allow you to stitch. So that's why if you need more real estate mended, that you'll stop and do it again. So there's the stop, a couple locking stitches, it's pre-programmed. Technically my foot is still on the foot control, so it knows to stop, and then it's ready to start again. So when I lift up the presser foot, the foot resets, and then it, you can reposition it back to where you need it to go. So here is what you're gonna see. Now if this thread matched my fabric, oh my gosh, this would be just this perfect filled in, almost looks like the fabric weave was re, so, you know, like remade and it's just perfect. So you can start there. Now I did mention that you could do this without this foot. So I'm gonna go ahead, take this foot back off, put a regular presser foot back in, lower that down, click it in place, slide your thread underneath the foot, good habits. And then here's what you're going to get. So when you're ready to start, 
Remember, it's going to start the beginning here and stitch away from us. As you stitch, you're going to find that when you tap this little paddle towards you, it will then turn around and keep going all the different steps. And then you can create a little longer mending stitch than say the buttonhole foot will allow you to do. So, and remember you can stop before it's actually done. So if you only need a stitching that's about half as wide as the full presser foot, you can stop anywhere along that. But that will give you an idea of how you can create your own length by and not have to put the buttonhole foot on. So it's all in the little paddle here. If you need to make sure you like reset it, you can push it up and then pull it back down if it uh, for any reason doesn't seem to have it engaged. And actually I just turned the machine off and on and that also kind of reset it. So if you're having any trouble with that, I did too and then I was able to get it to activate to the length that I wanted to stay. I hope you'll check out all the videos on the Singer CE677 Elite Sewing Machine and hopefully you're learning all new things that you can do on your machine.